Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Connie Nerf and I got something cool for you. I got a dual strike. Ooh, sexy. Monstrously large pistol. Well, not rough. It's kind of roughly the size of a recon or your basic cell phone in width. Uh, go a quick exterior of my complaints immediately about this blaster. I'm not going to come on, on handle size and draw and trigger. My problem is is the staged smart ARs, ARs in these things. I hate that Hasbro came up with this idea for this staged AR crap. You can't get better springs in, and when you do, it doesn't do much better because they're still slamming the door shut. It's like trying to... Well, I, I, don't, I don't have a good analogy for it. It's, it's just stupid. I mean, they're still just going right in there, and you can put a better spring in, but it's still closing the door as quick as you can, so it doesn't matter how fast the air tries to run through. And then they put them on the Mega Darts, and the Mega Darts take more power, and as you take a look inside this thing, it's a freaking Christmas tree! Well, it's not really a Christmas, it's just, it's a Christmas tree inside, but enough of that, enough of that. It's relatively comfortable, uh, I'll give a quick shot here on this thing. Make sure I didn't get no duds or anything like that. I'm going to give it a load up here. Darts are actually a really good fit, I have to say. Relatively tight. And they're K-code. It really means anything to anybody. I, I don't give a crap about dark coding or anything like that. It's shit to me. Why'd that pop back out? Oh! I got a Bunko air resistor on this one. Oh! Great! I don't know if another dart's going to fix that. Well, tighter fit. So, let's give her a shot. Woo! Well, it was set on Mega. Probably should have checked that. Bounce crap off my walls all the time in here anyways. Another shot. It should be on the other one. Yep, once. Twice. Right in the face. I'm going to shoot it into a box now instead. And that one's Bunko. Let's try it again. It's still kind of Bunko. Swip it over to the next one. Two, three. Well, it's not a com. That's not junked up, at least. Well, all of that one, two. I think it's a neat concept to have these things stuck all together. But like I said, I absolutely hate this staged air resistor stuff. Uh, I mean, put it. Oh my God! I, I, I know it's a complete advancement in all these things, but now everything keeps coming out the stage or just a result, or it's another stage or just a result, or it's a combination of the two in one, like the Triad, which was actually a decent pistol, but I don't care. So, like I said, going over it, it's comfortable, it's a good size, uh, it's got some relatively decent power for short ranging in here, it's kind of cold outside, so I'm not really going to give it a test outside, but... I can imagine uh, from watching the other people online do this stuff, it's kind of kind of a little underpowered, I guess. <sighs> I don't really quite know what to make of it, to be honest. It's uh, I don't have a use for it. I'm not gonna. I don't play stock dart wars or anything with NIC. Mostly all NIC stuff. So I may find a way to modify these out and. Maybe Worker makes those little things, and one of the Worker ones will fit. That'd be really cool. And the Worker ones in there, you can have like a three shot, and then the tubes down here, you can put them out with regular darts or Steffens and actually use them for something, which would be worthwhile. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really good at these kind of review things. So uh, we're going to pop it open because what everybody really wants to see is the guts of the blaster. So hang on. We're going to get her open. So, all right, we're at the point here where I crack this sucker open. And I got to say, I'm a, a little more calmed down now. I was honestly very excited to get one of these and everything going on with it like that. And had other stuff that's on another video over here that's got something else that I was supposed to come with the Amazon package that this came in. And it was supposed to come later in the week, but apparently they shipped them both together, and I am stoked to make that. So I may upload these out of order, but I'm probably not going to because I also have something else I'm going to work on that's going to come around with this. So without no further ado, I'm going to attempt to open this blaster and keep it 
on camera, which I do have all the screws loosened up here, do I? Yeah, it's just being a pain in the butt. So we're going to stick my little finger slicer in the corner here, and for some ungodly reason, it just doesn't want to open. There we go. Pop once. All the screws are still left in the top of it, so I'm trying very hard to not dump any of them because I didn't check if they were separate sizes or not. And I am so waiting for that little tack rail adaptment to just go flying across my shop wall. But see, when you start ripping blasters apart, one of the things you learn to do is keep your spring, which apparently Hasbro is now making irrelevant because they are taking the springs out of these things and away with them. So... Wow, uh, well, as we can see by the internals here, and we'll get a little bit of a zoom in, we have holes, lots and lots of holes, holes all over this thing. I could probably get a damn nickel down through the size of that. I mean, here's my screwdriver I used to open up all the blasters. We have all have these laying around. I can almost get the regular one down inside the damn thing. And when I draw, it goes right past that. Holy shit, Hasbro. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go with this is a fun blaster just by opening it up. I'll probably end up repeating myself. But for the love of Christ, this is not an NIC weapon. And it's going to require some heavy work to get something other than a kid to be have fun with it. If you want any kind of performance out of it. I, I'm not happy with these plastic retention springs that they keep putting on this stuff here. I don't know what the hell the guys at Hasbro are thinking with that. That is just making me mad. Uh, Night Finder style. Well, not Night Finder. Our Fire Strike style catch. So at least it's a sturdy mechanism. The spring's actually pretty good there. It's not I could probably take an easy overhaul to it, so let's just do a quick pop off here and see if I'm not destroying too much of this crap. If I can, how the plunger head's attached. Oh, teaser out there, giggity. No, it's pushed on. Son of a bitch. Yeah, see, they got the damn thing on those snap rings on there. That's gonna make that real fun to try to get that loose. Oh, wow. Speaking of loose. Nothing worse than loose rubber on that thing. Oh, well, I guess, well, if it's not dirty, you don't have to worry about it. Greasy, dirty, greasy, dirty, greasy, dirty. And for some reason, it won't... There we go. Just shove that back in there. If it's at all freaky possible. Oh, Hasbro, what have you done? Clowny, you broke it, and you didn't even get the damn thing fired up. You didn't have a lot of fun with it yet. Oh, it's already dead. Good job, Clowny. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at that. Oh, can we get life back in this thing? Okay, well, you know what? That's just going to have to do for now, because I can't waste time seeing in that, because the battery's going to die on my camera here. <laughs> So we'll go back up to the front on this thing. And this this just bothers the hell out of me. This bothers the hell out of me. I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking with this. <sighs> this is fun. Not worth 20 bucks if you're going to go performance out of it. But a play toy. Play toy, nonetheless, for fun. Now, this is not a lot of dead space in here. And that hole... You know, there's only one on this side, apparently. I think screws. I really don't want to take the other side crap out of here on this because I'm probably, you know what, I got two of them. Who gives a shit? I'll just return the other one to it here. So we got to quick take some screws out of this. This is, this is the kind of crap that I hate. I really wish I would have paid attention to other people's mods on this because I would actually see that there was screws here to remove. And you got to take them loose. And we're just going to pull until that whole thing breaks on the other side. Ah, oh, it's a screw. It won't break. Okay. Uh, wow. Jeez. Ah. Holy crap. Unprepared. All right, now, pop that off. All right. Let's yank this up here. Come on. Come up, you little... All righty. 
junk out of the way. Well, casement. <sighs> Looks like it's kind of snapped. I don't see solvent, but it's really freaking loose. Even when I pinch it back together, there's a lot of play and wiggle in that thing. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. It's only got half the airflow inside of it. I mean, I guess that's what they're calling this. I don't know. It's like a secondary air restrictor. But this thing is... There's a hole here. There's a hole here, here. Uh, they actually staged them out to make them smaller, which I thought was... I think is kind of interesting. As you can see, this hole here is much bigger than this hole here. So, they actually staged them up. These are the ones that really piss me off, though, right here. The ones on that. I mean, ugh. God, what are they thinking? This thing has so much potential, and then we're just gonna go and cut its nuts off. Not cool, Hasbro. Not cool. Okay, so this is your internals. I'm gonna attempt to put it back together and then give you my final thoughts on this sort of odd monstrosity that is the dual. What the heck, dual? That is the dual strike, which is completely upside down there. There we go. Dual strike. That's a cutway through the shell. That's that's actually cool. So that red was actually the plunger tube, which is relatively close to these holes. They're going to have to be dealt with. All right, final thoughts after this. All right, well, here's my final thoughts on the blaster, summarizing all my entire rant and the insides of this thing before my camera does something screwy again because I have to keep stopping and recording because it's... It keeps searching for data, which I may have screwed up my memory card because I let this sit out here while I was doing a bunch of drumming. Aesthetically, the blaster is fine. Uh, comfortable handle, heavy, short trigger pull. Spring additions uh, might be possible with this thing like that. It's actually got a decent sound to it by the looks of it. Uh, switching gimmick is a cool gimmick. I personally don't see a point to this blaster for anything I'm going to do. Uh, has been made mention that people talk about using different class blasters and types of ammunition for the uh, uh, zombie game. I forgot what the heck it's called all of a sudden. Uh, humans versus zombies. When you run around and shoot each other. I don't play that. I'm fat. I don't run around. If I did, I'd probably just climb up the top of a tower and snipe zombies left and right, but they don't stay dead when they're already dead. Because they reach on. So it, I do have an interest in sometimes playing that, but no, for as for now, not really interested in playing humans versus zombies. So this thing, unless I get into some kind of close quarters war coming up, uh, like an indoor arena or something, I really don't see a use for this for me. Uh, on the other hand, I have been playing around with my house for a little while before I filmed the back half of this video, and it is a lot of fun. I personally enjoy the sound of Mega Darts hitting the ground and get that nice dun -dun 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 sound like, you know, like shells. You get the whole Matrix thing in your head with the whoa. Fly <laughs> going out like that, but it is fun. I picked this one up at work for 20 bucks, standard price of most pretty much any average Nerf gun. I don't think it's a bad buy, I honestly kind of dig it. I won't probably ever be using it, I might paint it up or do something else with it because I got another one sitting over here from Amazon because I supposed to order one, then Walmart goes and sticks them on the shelf. So what's a guy to do? He already paid for one, so this one's going to be sticking around. The other one's probably going back to Walmart, and that's pretty much what I got on this thing. Nothing special, not anything out of the box. Amazing, but just fun. Might make a good sidearm. I don't know. Not in the NIC scenario, where it's kind of going for range, but it depends on what you play. Personally, I give it a thumbs up. It's a Nerf Dual Strike. Got 20 bucks? Go ahead and buy it. And let's say thank you for all of my subscribers and viewers that watch this show, video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. I love to get stuff to stroke my ego because it's awesome. If you uh, like these videos or anything you see on here, please, shameless plug, subscribe. Put them up there. I would love to have some more subscribers. Until then, peace. Uncle Clowney's watching.